<sighs> you know what I mean? It's been a while since we actually just hung out. Yeah. Yeah. Why is the light on? I don't know. It must have been something I recorded previously. Who's good potato spin leak here? A couple of drinks, making dinner. Blake and I talked about what we were going to be doing. We decided to go all out with burgers and fries. Do some fun stuff. Oh my god, where did this come from? I want to drink my beer. So. Yeah, you did. I'm so, so. A break from my sanatical for a good few. For a good long time of drinking. Oh, sweet. Congrats. How long do you think you're going to last? Like, what's the goal? I was going to make it till Christmas. I was taking a break because you came over and was going to cook together. Mm hmm. Well, it's, all, it's not often when I come over and say, hey, man, let's drink. Yeah, well, yeah. that and I've gotten a lot better with drinking. Yeah. You've improved a good bit. Oh, you already got your shot lined up. Yep. Cheese Louise. I drink a lot less than I used to. Yeah. You and me both, in all honesty. We used to go crazy with the shit. Well, I was way worse than all the people. I don't know, man. Whenever we got into those parties, it was pretty bad. Sure, like, most of the time we were carrying you, but... Well, even... I got to the point where even without the parties, I was drinking. And... Yeah, you, you went off the deep end. I started realizing that it was a problem, and as a responsible adult, I took full responsibility of it, and straightened myself up. Well, props to you for being able to do that. Some people can't. So, let's talk a little bit about what we're doing. What we do with the patties again, it was, um... I, uh, we're making burgers. We're going to make a maple burger, bourbon burger. I, uh, cooked the burgers in his pants. I seared them a little bit, put them in the oven to roast them to perfect temperature. That way no one could get sick. And I want to cook them at least medium rare at the minimum. But the problem is it's pre-ground beef. I didn't ground. So, I'm going to cook them well done for that fact. I use the juices from the burgers from the pan I sauteed in to saute the mushrooms and onions, use a little bit of beer and a few other ingredients. And when these get close to being done, I'm going to use the bourbon sauce to thicken the sauce a little bit, make this a little bit thicker, and as they top it to the burger and a complimenter. So that's, uh, that's mushroom and onions. We're going to be throwing the bourbon in there. There's a little bit of, uh, fuck, what beer are we buy again? It was Corona. Corona? Choice of beer, yes. Yeah, we tried Corona Familiar, and I'm assuming that the um, the garlic and your custom seasoning went to the burgers. There was also, what, uh, pepper jack and jalapenos? Not pepper jack, uh, Kobe. Kobe, Kobe jack. Kobe cheese and jalapenos I use shredded and a personal shredder. Oh yeah, I love bullet shredder. Mm. For personal reasons. Yeah. And for you. Mostly. Well, it's and not like I make money off this shit. That, and I use the same device to shred the seasonings that I use for the burgers that are in the oven, slowly roasting. But I've been roasting these for about a good 10 minutes to get them really nice and caramelized, get them soaking up the flavor. Which, it, it's coming out really nice. I don't know what the line's going to affect, but you can barely tell the difference between the onions and the mushrooms. The colors are coming out really nice. Uh, I'm actually gonna go ahead and just pluck out an onion really quick to show off. The sauce will be the absolute last thing I add because it will caramelize, and if I cook it for too long, it will burn from the sugar in it. And I do not want that because it will ruin the flavor of uh, everything I want, I'm adding to it. I want this onion right here. We have been drinking. Hopefully, we will have a few more videos of this in the future since we will. I want to try it. The flavor going to go really well. You get a little bit of the beer, a little bit of everything. You're overcooking them a little bit. A little bit? Yeah, you're overcooking them a little bit. Are they too soft? Yeah. Well, the thing is, not only am I going to cook them in this, I'm going to roast them in the oven. When I roast them in the oven, they will get a little bit of toughness to them. Yeah, they'll get, they'll get a little bit tougher. But because I've been slowly roasting the oven at 225 degrees. Yeah. If we leave them on there for another couple of minutes, they're going to turn to mush. I recommend that we go ahead and, yeah. 
So we go ahead and do that and set it aside so that it can set a little bit. Also, you got to realize this is going to thicken this up a lot. Yeah, and that, that's kind of what we're going for. We want it to be spreadable on the bread, almost like butter, and the nice topper for the burger itself. That'll be really interesting. Mm. And also, the reason you want to cook them to the point they're really soft is if you make a slurry like this, as a word, I guess that's not the word I would use, but a kind of topper for a burger, you want it to be soft because you would want all the flavors to come together, especially with the sauce mixing together like this because if you go anywhere, and there's not going to be no crunch. With it. This is in the same pan we did the burgers in, right? All right, so I soaked up a little bit of that meat juice. So, as you see, it's starting to come together. It's kind of like a jam. Yeah. And that's the kind of consistency you would want because exactly. it's the topper for the meat itself. And for the meat, you'd want a kind of spread jam because, you know, if you had lettuce, tomato, you don't want a bunch of crunch. Because yeah, exactly. You want, you want a, a refreshing amount of crunch. That's exactly what you want. So, yeah, refreshing amount of crunch, non-mushy veggies, just enough. I cut my hair again. I shaved my beard. I look like I'm ready to suck dick and drop ecstasy. I shaved my beard a few days ago and it's already lifted. Yeah, shit happens. Rush it in as oil. Oh yeah, a little hot pan. It's so cute. As you can smell, I wish they it's could a hot, smell this. It's a nut sack. Smell it. Get a good whiff of it. That's the way it should smell. Oh yeah, that's nice. Yeah. It's really sweet. It's, I mean, here's the thing. There's going to be a lot of salt coming from the bacon. Uh, we have some actually pretty sharp aromatics and sour and spicy flavors in the meat. And so we want this to be a little bit sweet. Uh, oh, did you ever add the lemon juice? Yes. Okay. The break down, that's why it was so tender. Yeah, it needs a look. Earlier. It's not from cooking. Lemon juice... As anyone knows, it's the sensitivity in any lemon juice. You add it to any meat, anything, and you marinate it, it will break down. Well, there's the thing. Salt and acidity are what really bring out flavors, make them pop. Yep. It opens your taste buds and allows them to taste anything. That's why some people like mustard on their burgers. These burgers are... Well, not only that, but as far as, you know, encouraging an appetite, you want spice, uh, spicy foods. It really gets your, your palate going. Anything with any bit of acidity. The only thing that opens your palate that is not acidic is ginger. But the thing about ginger is it opens your palate to the point where it 100% resets your palate. So if you want it much. Like well, it also, it also clears juicy. the fuck out of your sinuses. So. Well, the good thing about ginger is if you are tasting foods, between the foods, it's good to have ginger on your tongue because it completely resets your palate. It's also good because it has no soul. Mm. I'm gonna get in trouble for that. God, it looks like baked beans! I'm letting that settle. Lord! Uh, the proper way to let this settle is to move it to another eye, but it's also a safety issue. Please do not touch that. It's extremely hot. Okay. Listen. <laughs> I'm about to put. The pan I'm about to bring out. Let's see how big these burgers are going to be. Oh yeah. Oh, they're fat. They're fatty. Make fat, fat. Oh, look at all that meat juice. I seared them juice. and been slowly roasting them for about 30 or 40 minutes. You know what we need to do with that meat temperature. juice? After. Right. No, no, no. Uh, well, yes, but after the meat soaks some of it back up, we need to pour some of that right in here. Right in there. Right the, in there. Yeah. Well, the thing is, is, there is a lot in there. And I don't want to water that down any more than it is. Because true, it's going to be true. topper and it's a thick slurry at this point. Ah, it'd be so flavorful though. It would, but we could also, mm. if you ever have extra juice from your meat left over, you can store it and use it for a purpose. Well, yeah. As I learned cooking in South. I just like going overboard. That's my thing. Thank you. And the oil off with this. Is this oil time for income cooking also? Please wash your hands before you cook anyone's food. Especially after scratching your nuts. 
Yeah, you don't want to scratch your balls. You fucking terrible assholes. There are some sick bastards out there. So, me, I like Colby. Colby cheese is absolutely delicious. So, one burger, I'm going to use Colby. I like but a lot of sharp cheeses, especially bur- dry ones. Me and him are sharing one of these burgers, so... You want to just do half Kobe, half uh, half chip? Mix them oh yeah. For the middle burger. Stir the beef. Mm. There we go. More about the juices because I will eventually cut the oven off, and these meats will send their juices. That's what you want. Oh yeah. It's like mm. a marinade, in other words. Mm-hmm. I mean, I don't want to set too long because it will congeal. Well, no, that's so when it Jeff's gets gross. Snacking on his cheese, cause you bet your ass I've been snacking on that cheese. You know me and cheese. I like the difference between our cheeses. Is for some reason mine didn't have any separators at all whatsoever. It's weird, but I'll take it. I don't know why. But oh god, yours is fragile. Yeah, because it's sharp as hell. <laughs> Wear gloves while handling sharp cheddar, because it will cut you. <laughs> it will cut the fuck out of you. Alright, so. Anyways. Alright, paper divider. I'll throw about 30 of you. Whoops. Almost done with chest tissue. One more piece of cheese. One more piece of cheese? And eventually we'll probably. We'll probably fry fries. But we probably won't have it on video because it's frying fries. If you don't know how to fry fries, then. Wait, didn't we get that microwave bacon shit? Yeah, we got microwave bacon because. Where'd it go? We're lazy and I didn't want to pan fry <sighs> bacon. That and is. And we also was very curious about how it was working out. Yeah, I, I feel like it's going to be rubbery. I don't think it's going to get too crisp. But you will learn later on. We will probably upload another video of how everything turned out. But as you see, I. Uh, Put in the cheese, put them back in the oven. So it's the temperature. Don't do this unless the temperature is close or ready. Because Wait, which, which, what temperature would you recommend? If you are you talking about the your, in- if you ground your own beef, cook it to the temperature you prefer. If you want rare, medium rare. Oh, okay. So you're talking about the internal temp of the burger. The yes. like the base is 160, 165. If you're going yes. for rare, roughly 130, 140. And if you don't know, hands gestures is always welcome. Yeah, but. As you can see, this is starting to thicken up. It's starting to become like a glaze sauce, a topper. This is what, if you ever go to any restaurant and you want anything like this, this is what it's going to look like. I'm coming, I'm coming. And if you uh, taste it, it's thickened up, it's, it's tender, but it's not in the way of where it's overcooked. It's the perfect way you would want it to be because it's thickening up. That is really sweet. Be perfect for a burger. Oh, yeah, that's that's the gonna be saltiness of the bacon mm. and whatever toppings you add. If you add mustard, usually people like mustard in a burger, and a lot of people will come out mustard with that. That mustard, that bitterness of the mustard combined with that will be excellent. All right, or ketchup, anything. I would, if you want to add any sauce, I would recommend only add mustard to that because of the bitterness. If you add anything else, it'll be oversweet and it'll be too much. Oh, yeah, no, I hear you. I but that is right perfect the way it is because it's become thick, slurry, everything is working together, the meat juices, everything is Oh, hell yeah. No, no, I think, I think the entire, the entirety of the burger, like our main dish, it's got essentially everything we need. It's got very earthy flavors, it's sweet, it's salty, it's got a little bit of heat in there. It's, a, uh, it's pretty good all around. It's going to be great also with the sharpness of your cheddar, the way mm. you like it, it's going to be excellent because it's going to be extreme cheddar bite but it's gonna have that sweetness aftertaste which you're gonna love exactly and it's also gonna have a nice crumbly texture uh so yeah uh, you know what i'm actually gonna go ahead and end this video so we have space for the follow-up uh any finishing thoughts you'll see us in the end to see how we feel about how we have performed this food that we made tonight just wait for us to get angry and start throwing shit what a waste of 20 minutes ah like comment subscribe keep on keeping on i'll see you in the next video Ew.